Two Vegas casino employees are facing charges of insider cheating to help players win. Las Vegas' first year with F1 is officially in the books, and one of the strip's more popular free attractions is going away for good. We've got all that and more, so get ready for this month's video of Las Vegas news, updates, and rumors for December 2023. The latest tourist numbers show that from the beginning of 2023 through the end of September, an estimated 30.5 million people have visited Las Vegas, which is a 6.6 .6 increase from last year. The average price for a room on the Strip is now $192, an 11% increase, and the average room price in downtown has reached $102, a 5% increase. The Strip has made $6.5 billion so far in gambling revenue, a 6% increase, and downtown has made $655 million, a 3% increase. The All Net Resort and Arena project is officially over before ever even getting started. The Clark County Planning Commission voted 7-0 to zero to deny All Net Resort and Arena's request to extend their deadline again for construction. The property had plans of building a hotel, basketball arena, restaurants, and retail space. The vacant land for the project was the former site of the once popular Wet n Wild Water Park. The All Net Resort and Arena project has been around for so long that you can still see a video of it in year one of this channel that was published back on December 26, 2014. Uh, we got another arena in the works um, here, except this one's going to be on the north end of the Strip. The goatee is gone, and now the All Net Resort and Arena project is as well. We have several updates on the Oakland A's moving to Las Vegas. Although the stadium on the Las Vegas Strip was approved without the A's having permission yet to move, Major League Baseball has recently voted unanimously to allow the Oakland A's to officially move to Las Vegas. The timeline for the Las Vegas Athletic Stadium was revealed late last month. The stadium is expected to begin construction in April 2025 and to be completed in January 2028. The iconic Tropicana Hotel and Casino will be demolished to make room for the 30,000 seat, $1.5 billion stadium to host Las Vegas' first ever MLB team. Atomic Golf at the Strat is almost done. The new strip attraction is set to open in the first quarter of 2024. The website states that our venue is over 99,000 square feet of electrified and animated fun where the best elements of the game fuse together with great food, colorful drinks, and an engaging atmosphere. Come tee off with a golf experience built around fun and games. The venue will include an Astrocade, putting district, tap room, meeting rooms, cosmic lounge, luxury suites, and bays. The company is looking to hire over 500 full-time and part-time workers. The Miracle Mile Shops has been making renovations that are close to being done. They've added a new free attraction called the Lost City Show. This is a 3D projection video show that will display earth, wind, and fire. Unfortunately, not the music group. Ice and Water will also be part of the show that is free to the public. Updates have also been made to the rain show that so many people have seen over the years. The Lost City Show runs every hour on the hour from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. The newly anticipated Durango Casino has pushed back its opening date. Station Casinos announced that the initial opening date of November 20th is going to instead be rescheduled for December 5th to help ensure a first-class opening of the property. The $780 million resort on 50 acres of land will feature over 80,000 square feet of casino space, over 200 rooms, over a dozen restaurants, a sports book, a pool, and a food hall. Another casino getting ready to open in Las Vegas is the Fountain Blue. This project at the north end of the Strip has been in the works for a long time. After being faced with numerous financial issues and has changed names along the way. However, we will be seeing the Strip's newest property open on December 13th. The expectation for Fontainebleau is that it will be a more luxurious experience for Vegas visitors. From the decor, to the rooms, to the casino, to the pool, to the dining, to the nightlife, to the spa, it is expected to deliver a high-level product to the Strip. The casino is 150,000 square feet, and the property will have over 3,600 rooms across 60 floors and offer floor-to-ceiling views of the iconic Las Vegas Strip and surrounding mountains. Lisa Vanderpump is opening her third restaurant on the Strip in summer of 2024. This will be in addition to the locations already at Caesars Palace and Paris. The site of the British TV star's third location will be at the Flamingo. Pinkies by Vanderpump will span 7,000 square feet and set against a palette of muted greens, brass accents, and blush pink. The space will boast a dramatic bar and a covered terrace settled into the Las Vegas Strip. 
The Fremont Street Experience has announced its lineup for its official New Year's Eve party in downtown Las Vegas. The night will feature a variety of music from rock to hip hop to alternative to EDM. Headliners include Black Street, Third Eye Blind, and Big Gigantic. Other performances include Beach Weather, Craze, Eric Forbes, Kid and Play, Tone Loke, Young MC, and Silent Disco. Two Las Vegas Baccarat dealers are facing charges of cheating in the casino. In May of 2022, a representative from the Rampart Casino at the resort at Summerlin contacted the Nevada Gaming Control Board, alleging two Baccarat dealers cheated with two players. Casino surveillance footage showed that there were two dealers who were revealing the gaming cards to the players. Both of the players involved were questioned as part of the investigation. One admitted that dealers had been showing him cards, while the other denied having any involvement. The first year of Formula One's Las Vegas Grand Prix is in the books and there was no shortage of drama that went with the race. Thursday night's practice run lasted less than 10 minutes when a driver ran over a manhole cover that damaged his vehicle and the track was deemed unsafe, resulting in a class action lawsuit by fans against F1 who had paid for tickets for Thursday night. The race itself on Saturday was considered to be one of the most entertaining races of the year with Max Verstappen winning again. Some casinos were very busy and optimistic about their revenue over the weekend, while others saw little to no boost from the race. More details will be coming out later. The Rio Hotel and Casino is making steady progress in its renovations. The majority of the slot and video poker machines are now up and running after transitioning operations from Caesars Entertainment to Dreamscape. Under Caesars, you used to have to coin in $5 to earn one point on slots. Dreamscape has lowered that to only having to coin in $1.25 now. They're currently offering $5 minimum on craps during the day and $10 minimum in the evenings. The company has announced that its once famous buffet will be replaced with a food hall. Other plans for the property include a renovation of the pool, a new sports book, as well as additional restaurants and entertainment options. There are now plans for what to do with the site where the Riviera Hotel and Casino once stood on the strip. The Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority approved spending $6.5 million to prepare a 10-acre site where the Riviera once stood for $125 million sale. At one point, it was thought that a new casino may be built on the land by Chilean billionaire Claudio Fisher, but now a new developer has purchased the property. The new owners will have until 2033 to develop the land, but haven't said what they plan to build on the site yet. One of Las Vegas' more popular free attractions is being cut. Streetmosphere at Venetian's Grand Canal Shops closing permanently on December 6th. The show often featured music and a variety of performances that travelers could enjoy for free on the property. Streetmosphere had been a part of the Venetian for over 20 years, and although the website shows performances taking place all the way into February, a letter from Best Agency has been shared on local media stating that December 6th is the last official day for the performers. We will now rapid fire some more updates before diving into the rumors section. The Raiders fired head coach Josh McDaniels and put Antonio Pierce in his place. Hearthstone Kitchen at Red Rock Casino has been replaced by a Mexican restaurant called Lenocito. A new restaurant called Jade at 16 has opened at the M Resort. Cherry Rooftop opened up at Paris where the old Chateau nightclub used to be. The Bourbon Parade Bar that just opened in the Grand Bazaar shops last month has officially closed. A new High Limit Room is now open at Green Valley Ranch Resort in Henderson. The Culinary Union has reached a new contract agreement with properties on the Strip. Now that the Durango Station is just about done, station casinos will largely be focusing on their next property in Henderson called Inspirata Station. A new restaurant from Philadelphia called Federal Donuts and Chicken is set to open at Red Rock Casino just in time for the Super Bowl. Rosa Mexicano is officially open at Planet Hollywood where PBR Rock Bar was for years. The Rainbow Club and Emerald Island Casinos in downtown Henderson on Water Street were recently sold. And Dream Hotel construction at the south end of the Strip is still stagnant. We will kick off the rumor section with a follow-up to a rumor covered in a prior video. The High Limit Slot and Video Poker Room at Sahara is expanding. The renovations began a couple of months ago, but they are expected to be completed in December just in time for the new year. The Neon Museum is rumored to be looking to change locations. Many of you have likely visited the popular attraction just north of Fremont Street on Las Vegas Boulevard. No word yet on future possible locations for this popular attraction. Thank you for being here throughout 2023. It's been a great year and I look forward to more next year in 2024. Thanks for watching. I'm Jacob and this is my life in Vegas.